So perhaps you're unhappy with your electric guitar tone. You want to change things up a bit and tweak your electric guitar sound. Should you go to a different string gauge to accomplish that goal? Absolutely not. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Daryl here. Hope you guys are having an excellent day today. Yes, in this video, we're talking about string gauge, we're talking about guitar tone, and we're talking about using the right tool for the job. So there's an interesting divide in the guitar world. Sometimes I think we take what we know to be true on acoustic guitars and project them onto electric solid body. Things like the type of wood really changes the guitar tone or perhaps the body shape changes the guitar tone or the thickness or whatever it is. These things you know, are absolutely essential when picking an acoustic guitar. But what about an electric solid body? Does the shape change the tone? Does the wood change the tone? Do the strings change, change the tone and so on and so forth? So when we're talking about electric instruments and we're talking about maybe tweaking your tone, we wanna talk about using the right tool for the job. So with that in mind, we need to ask ourselves some pointed questions about string gauge. Why do we have different gauge strings? Well, it's to maintain the proper tension on the guitar. That's the job of different gauge strings. So guitars with shorter scale lengths tend to have thicker gauge strings to maintain that tension. And guitars with longer scale lengths tend to have thinner gauge strings, you know, so you have the same approximate tension. And of course, there's a lot of wiggle room in that area. You can put eights on a Les Paul if you want, and it'll sound great. You can put 13s on a Strat and you can make it work. Maybe you tune down half a step or things like that. And if you tune down really low, or if you use a multi-scale guitar, then, you know, all the tensions are you know, figured out by the manufacturers and recommended string gauges for that particular instrument. Um, that's what you go for. Now, are you going to notice a difference if you've been playing on 13s and you go to 9s or if you've been playing on 8s and you go to 11s? Yes, you'll notice a subtle difference. Does it matter? Absolutely not. Simply because these are not the tools we use to EQ our guitar. So as guitar players, should we be trying out and experimenting with different string gauges? Absolutely. This is the way that we interact with our electric guitars. So important that we find the right string gauge for our playing style. You know, if you have a super light feathery touch and you've been playing on 11s because you need a thicker tone, dude, just go try some nines, try some eights. You know, it's gonna change the way you play on that guitar. Or if you have a really heavy touch, you know, you're over bending, you're, you know, putting your guitar to tune every time you play it, you're breaking strings, you know, you shouldn't be on nines. <laughs> you know, try some twelves, try some elevens, you know, you know, so finding that right gauge for the style that we play um, is just absolutely essential. Now, don't worry about the tonal aspects because we'll talk about that in a second. I'll show you guys some examples. Uh, don't worry about the tone. That is not the job of the strings. You know, from a certain aspect, it's the job of the pickups, whether they're humbuckers or singles. It's certainly the job of your tone control on your guitar, but it's the job of your amp, right? It's not an acoustic guitar where the whole guitar is responsible for the whole sound. This is a combination effort between the guitar and mostly the amp. If you hate your guitar tone, get a different amp. <laughs> That's the moral really of the story um, because it's the amp's job to shape your tone. You know, uh, it's your playing dynamics. It's how you interact with the guitar. It's your, you know, emotion that you put into the guitar. But really, you know, from a gear aspect, fundamentally, it's the amp's job to shape the tone. So don't worry about, you know, the tonal aspects of a set of strings. It's all about the tension that, the, that it provides. It's all about finding the right balance between your playing style and a specific string gauge. All right, so now I'm gonna record a quick clip for you guys just to show you how easy it is to change your guitar's tone using EQ, which obviously is the right tool for the job. Don't worry about tone wood, don't worry about you know the tonal aspects of string gauge. All that stuff can be put to the wayside. Um, you know, I'd really encourage you guys to understand how to how the EQ section works on your amps, or you know, if you have an EQ pedal or an outboard unit or software or whatever, doesn't matter. Um, you know, getting acquainted with uh, you know what EQ is and what it does, so important. So I've recorded a basic power chord progression with a little bit of crunch on it. Let's take a listen with no EQ, just the straight signal from my tube amp. <laughs> Now 
listening through my monitors, I can tell it's a little bit boomy, and especially if you added drums and bass and all those other instruments, um, you wouldn't have the clarity you wanted. But, you know, just listening to it stock sounds pretty good. Let's quickly take a look at, e at the EQ. I'm just going to show you guys some extreme settings to show you how important it is to understand EQ. And really, you can make your guitar sound like anything other than, you know, you can't change the gain on it because it's been recorded. Uh, but if you're using like a software solution, you could do all that afterwards as well. But here we're just going to show you the EQ. So I'm just going to let it loop and just drag the EQ around just to show you guys. <laughs> So the sky's the limit. You can really make your guitar sound like almost anything. You want bright and brash and biting? No problem. You want big, fat jazz tone? No problem. You want, you know, scooped mids for a more aggressive tone? Great. You want boosted mids for like a bluesy tone? Perfect. So that's why I always recommend get to know your amps three band EQ really, really well. It was just easier and fun to you know show you guys on software because it's so quick to manipulate. But anyway, get to know your amps EQ that's the way to go. So that's the moral of this story, using the right tool for the right job. We don't use a hammer as a level, we don't use a screwdriver as a hammer, at least you shouldn't, that's kind of missing the whole point. So this is the best advice I can give you guys and the honest truth. If you do not like the way your guitar sounds, but you like the way it plays, you like the way it looks, neck profile, you found a string gauge that you love, everything you like about that guitar, but you do not like the way it sounds, consider changing your amp. This is so important. So listen to some tones of maybe your favorite artists, disregard their guitars, focus on their amps. Because if you get the right amp, man, it's gonna change your world. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite string gauge is. And secondly, have you ever changed from one amp to another or maybe used a friend's amp and it really just kind of blew your mind how good your guitar sounded through that rig. So anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys on that. Other than that, have an awesome week, you guys. Take care.